For centuries now, the planets Zetaxis and Lenark have been engaged in a senseless and brutal struggle. Zetaxis has been nearly destroyed by Lenarkin attacks, while Lenark has suffered equal devastation. Both civilizations will be extinct within one more generation unless these negotiations bring peace. Thanks for the happy news, Melkor. With the envoys of both planets, shake hands and resolve to see the process through. I don't think this is how a peace process is supposed to begin. This is Predaking. This is Cyclonus. What news, Predaking? I am diverting to investigate a signal in Sector 9. What a signal? Unknown. It is an old Quintesson frequency. I will join you at its source. Be on alert. The Autobots may also have received the signal. There is a probability of combat. Pleased to hear that, Cyclonus. Very pleased. Pedicking out. Peculiar. A modified Waverly signal on the old Quintesson frequency. Skylinks, Perceptor calling. Receiving you, Perceptor. We're intercepting a signal sourced at coordinates A5 by V10. Where in prime is that? <laughs> I've always suspected your astrographic circuits were deficient. It's in the Anganic sector. Mushy circuits, eh? No wonder we're like getting back to Cybertron. Skylinks, this may be serious. That signal is an old Quintesson frequency. I've locked onto the signal. We'll trace it for you. Surface scan fails to reveal a clearing anywhere. I can't land. I'll have to drop you. Well, that's better than getting bounced into nuts and bolts. Do the best you can. I'll track above you. Looks like we've got some cruising to do. Just a bad got it. My arms still jump. Free my arms. That's it. Just return in the favor. I could really learn to hate chlorophyll in this place. Stop talking and keep walking. Signals coming from that away. The signal is stronger. We are very close now. If we're lucky, we'll find Autobots there. the source. Name it and claim it. I'd love to, but I have no idea what it is. Still with you, and it ain't been easy. Look out! We can't let it crush that canister! Look at the canister! Ram horn. It's just a projection. I must have triggered it by accident. Ears open. Something's being spoken. Journal 1122 playback. 
containing items 379NW through 793BQ of the Quintesson Journal. A complete record of our commercial enterprises, technical plans, and special projects. Ah, die, Autobots! Decepticons! Skylinks! Get us out of here! On my way! Predacons, <laughs> unite! on the Autobot Skylinks! One thorough drubbing wasn't enough, Predaking! This time you die! Skylinks, enough fun and games! Get us out of here! Predaking! Everyone, buckle up! The signal has stopped. Predaking must have found the source. Negative, Cyclonus! Autobots! Decepticons! I should have known that was all too easy! Did that warp gate come from? They vanished, but where? The Transformers will return after these messages. We now return to the Transformers. Ah, so that explains it. The Quintessons came for their little toy! Whew. That energy field just drained me! We hope you find your accommodations comfortable. What are you going to do with Skrylinks? He cannot transform at the moment. He will simply remain here. We thank you for retrieving this segment of our journal. I've got one hot swat. In that case, we'll have to open them up. Excuse me, you look like you could use a little energy on. <laughs> well, these bars present a little problem, don't you think? Now, damn me! Be glad to. Ah! Was that as easy as I thought it was? Ask me when we're back on Cybertron. Make sure Skylinks is ready to launch. I'll be right there. Can you fly, Skylinks? I imagine so. But I seem unable to transform while in the range of the disruptors. Come on, Outback! Let's get out of here! Setting course for Cybertron, gentlemen! Decepticons! And no mistakes! <laughs> Skylinks! Time to stand and fight, fellows! No! Time to distract! Predaking enough! Prepare to depart! Not until Skylinks dies! I say who dies and when! The iron trail from the Quintesson ship is very strong. They are close by. But you said no mercy, Galvatron. Very true, so I will show none. Decepticons, away from here, now! Lies, lies and falsehoods! From your mouth only, Detection! Yeah! Yeah! 
No more talk. Let our actions speak for us now. And Lenak shall respond in kind, Zetaxi. Ah, uh, this might be a good time for a break. Yeah, good and hurt, seeing as how everybody's already left anyway. This is Agar of Zetaxis. We wish to take delivery. When does Ultimate Weapon arrive? Our vehicle has encountered turbulence in space. Shipment of your Ultimate Weapon was delayed, but is now en route to you. Good! Finally, the means to crush the taxes forever. At last, the defeat of the Lonarkan dogs draws nigh. This planet appears on no charts. We can examine this device undisturbed. Activate it. I don't know how the Autobots made it play. It is useless unless we get playback. <laughs> Item 457, Planet Tixla. This is it. The secrets of the Quintessons are ours. A large fleet of Quintesson transport vessels were sold to Tixlara. The primitive nuclear fuel requirements drain the planet's mineral resources, bringing the Tixlaran economy under Quintesson control. This is useless! We supplied manufacturing facilities to the planet Alaxa'u. Said facilities were designed to create atmospheric pollutant imbalance. The resulting isotopic rains destroyed all vegetation, which we replaced with Pantobots at a substantial profit. Item 793BQ, manipulation of the continuing war between Zetaxis and Lanark. Are those not the two planets? Between whom the Galactic Peace Council is attempting to negotiate a ceasefire. A case study has been made of this conflict. I'll bet they'd love to have that journal at the peace conference. Then let's get it alone and bring it on home. All right, on my signal. Escalating sales of armaments to both sides has resulted in continuation. Autobots, they dare to attack us. Doom to the intruder! Sons. They've got the journal again! We cannot permit that device to be reborn! Give up, weakling Autobots! The Quintesson journal is ours! Guess again, Galvatron! Don't you know any gentler games? Some peace conference. Peace. We'll be lucky if it doesn't break out in galactic war. The Transformers will return after these messages. We now return to the Transformers. This reminds me of your wrestling shows on Earth. At least those are faked, Rodimus. We need our ultimate weapon now! Lanark must be obliterated! This is the last straw! When our ultimate weapon arrives, we will destroy the taxes! We must have the weapon by the next moon orbit! We understand your situation. Yes, the device is on board. Delivery is confirmed your destination. Transport out. We've had enough delays already! 
We are ready to proceed! We know it is urgent. The device is on board and we are on schedule. Delivery is confirmed your destination. Transport out. I've never seen two planets more eager to blow each other to dust. <laughs> what the matter? So long as we reap the profits. Decepticons! Perhaps we should just use one of the two Omega Bombs we're carrying. Wasteful! One of those things can vaporize a planet. Yes, to say nothing of vaporizing half our profits. Better to elude them with another warp gate! So, which of our clients will take delivery first? Simultaneous delivery. Both planets must survive long enough for us to get paid. Internal pressure dropping rapidly. Seal the bridge. Alert the shuttles. I have it. Head for the peace conference, Skylinks. Give it all you got. Come on, come back to the table. What'll it cost you? The conference is over, and the war will be over soon enough. Correct! And you are its next casualty! Just a moment! The Decepticons give us less trouble than this. This peace conference is hereby reconvened! Never! Death to Lenark! Not if the Texas dies first! Stop it! You'll destroy yourselves! <sighs> this a peace conference or a slam dance party? Observe! In the third stage, medium-powered hand weapons were sold to both Zetaxis and Lenark. Higher profit margins were not achieved until the sale of interplanetary weapons. Unbelievable! Profit margins? From blowing up our cities? Fleet sales of warships increased profits by a factor of five. Newer weapons sold to Zetaxis generated equalizing sales to Lenark and vice versa. Quintus on profits from the Lenark Zetaxis War have increased steadily for centuries. A textbook case. We have endured these horrors so the Quintessons could profit. Congratulations. It's taken you only a few thousand years to comprehend your folly. And we shall reward your perceptiveness by providing you your ultimate weapons as promised. Already armed and set to explode on impact. Are you ready to take delivery? Look! A Quintesson cruiser! The bombs must be aboard. Move! Go! Go! Now, Ultra Magnus! It's working! One last burst! Quintessons treat their clients. I don't like you or your people, the Texan. We don't like you either, but we like a pointless war even less. Then you live on your world and we live on ours. Agreed? Well, I guess they'll never be the best of friends, but at least the shooting's over. We'd better lock this thing up on Cybertron. It's sad, really. All those centuries of war. And the only winners were the Quintessons. The Transformers will return after these messages. The volcano headquarters for the Autobots on Earth was destroyed in a Decepticon attack. 
now, in the year 2006, Autobot Cities has become the new Autobot Earth base. Autobot City is also a transformer known as Metroplex, with the capacity to transform from city mode to a battle station or to a giant robot. Metroplex is the Autobot's last line of defense, the robot they depend upon when all other options fail. Metroplex is my kind of time. When Metroplex transforms to a robot, some of his modular components form smaller, separate robots. Six-Gun, the ideal defensive battle scout. Slammer, the tank. And Scamper, the tough little car that berths in Metroplex's city ramp. To counter the power of Metroplex on Earth, the Decepticons have built Decepticon City, known as Trypticon. The city can transform to battle station mode, becoming a mobile menace with X-ray lasers and twin photon cannons. Trypticon also has a dinosaur mode, an immense walking reptilian form that crushes anything in its path. Metroplex and Trypticon are each other's deadliest enemies. Whenever they approach one another, they lock in battle and engage in incredible combat. And the victor in their epic struggles may someday turn the tide of battle in favor of either the Decepticons or the Autobots. Which will it be?